to rock your business with one-to-one -one meetups. I love one-to-ones. And if you've ever heard any of the live trainings I've done, a lot of what we do comes back to one-on-ones. It's kind of a core foundational thing that will help you launch your business. So there's four major ways that we share. One-on-ones, home parties, live events, and if you have a prospect that they're out of town or you can't meet up with them, then definitely um, you know, sending a video or some type of online presentation. So the first one is let's talk about some of the benefits. Well, if you've ever had a prospect and you've invited them to a party, uh, you've invited them to a party, you've invited them to a party and they just don't come, then those are the type of people that you definitely want to meet up with individually, right? Another great thing about one-on-ones is that, you know, some people, especially if they're a leader or someone that has a extreme, you know, I mean like they have tons of potential and you're like, oh my gosh, I really want this person to join my team. This would be so awesome. Um, one-on-ones. One-on-ones are awesome for that. Um, you get to hear their story, what's important to them, and then you can kind of cater what you're talking about to really speak their language, to really, you know, connect with that person, you know, because connecting is really where it's at. People are not joining your business because of your products or because of your comp plan, they're joining because of you. If you can connect with them and show them that you have a path that's worked for, for yourself and for, you know, other people in your organization, they will follow you. If you cast a vision, they will jump on board. So one-on-ones are great for really connecting with that person and, and, and tailoring what you're sharing to that person in, in particular. So let's talk about uh, what you're going to need. Well, if you do a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I am... Um, I um, just like to keep everything super simple and super duplicatable. So I like to use a paper flip chart, a paper presentation. Now there's a lot of people that put their stuff on laptops. They put their stuff on their iPad. That's cool. I'm all good with that too. A lot of what I do is I really, if I'm doing a one-on-one, -on -one, it's because I'm meeting with someone that in my mind, they have a lot of potential. So I'm going to cater whatever I bring to the table um, to that person. If I'm meeting with someone and let's say they're, Maybe they own a construction business or they're in the restaurant world or, you know, they're, they're not maybe like a high tech type person Then I'm definitely going to go the paper route. If I'm meeting with someone and they're like, you know, really into all the gadgets and I know that they're like, you know, in with the no on social media and different things, then I'll probably go with my laptop or an iPad, but you got to use your discretion. Paper is always good because it, you know, if, they, if it's somebody and they don't have tons of financial resources to get started and they see you do the presentation with a, a paper flip chart, well, they're like, hey, okay, <laughs> I can get one of those. It's probably like 10 or 20 bucks, right? So that is the first thing. The second thing is obviously your product. You want to be able to be in a spot where they can try what it is that you have because if they don't like your product, they're going to have a hard time representing that in the marketplace. Then you also want to bring, if you have any kind of testimonial material. So if you were, if your company was featured in success from home magazine, or you have some kind of leaders book, some kind of a uh, treasure chest, something that shows and showcases your leaders and it has testimonies that you can share with. Awesome. Um, something else is I always keep pictures in my phone. So I like to share pictures before and after pictures or just, you know, share someone's story and I have a picture to share, you know, share with the prospect. Um, the last thing is you want applications. So paper applications are wonderful because, you know, you just talk about what they need. We'll, we'll talk about the closing, but you just talk about, you know, what's going to be the best fit for them. And then it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's very, very easy. It's easy to fill it out, put it away, and then you can move on to what's the most important to that prospect, which is obviously making money. So that is going to be what you are going to need. Okay. So where should you have a one-on-one? -on -one? Okay. Well, first of all, a place with limited distractions. So that would probably not be their work and it would probably not be a restaurant with a waiter or waitress. Me personally, I like to have them at a coffee shop. Starbucks is okay. Panera or La Madeline is my first choice. Um, Some place where, you know, you can go in there, you have access to getting water and ice if that's something that you need for your product. Um, You have plenty of space. It's not going to be too crowded or too noisy. And you definitely do not have a waiter or waitress that keeps coming around. Um, that's That could be something that could really, really interrupt the flow of what you're doing. So that's what I like to do as far as placement. Their home is totally good. I'm good with their home. Your home is great, um, but a place with limited distractions. Obviously, if you can avoid trying to do a meeting with them having their kids, that is good. Because if they have a little one, even you know, I, you know how moms are, you know how dads are. They're like, yeah, 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 I'm listening. They're not. 
No. <laughs> so our goal is to try and get the best scenario that we possibly can. So you know what's probably going to be best, but limited distractions. So wherever that might be, coffee shop is my, my first pick. Um, their home is awesome. Your home is awesome. Um, so that's where I would start. Now, how long should your one-on-one -on -one be? Okay, so time is very sensitive and time is very important. And the reason that is, is because number one, you don't have all day because you're busy, you got stuff to do and you're building this business part-time more than likely. Number two, whatever you do, they're going to think they need to do that as well. So typically, you know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, hour and 15, if they talk a lot. Really, when I do a one-on-one -on -one and we're gonna get into the how-tos of doing it, um, my pre, you know, the stuff I'm going over could take me, I mean, I could do it in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long. So really everything else is padding and building rapport. So try and keep it short, but you also want to connect with that prospect. So connecting is number one and obviously sharing whatever you have, but definitely no two, three hours. That's way too long. Just don't do it. Just, you have to go, you got stuff to do. I've seen people where they, they do that and it just makes it real challenging for that person to duplicate that and their prospects like, Haha, great to see you, goodbye. Um, like they don't wanna do it either, okay? So just keep it a reasonable length. Now, one other thing that I would suggest would be great is you know, this, this, the thing we're on right now, social media, learn how to use it. Learn how to position yourself in a way where you actually have prospects reaching out to you. I mean, like if you had prospects reaching out to you. If you woke up in the morning and you're, you know, stumbling down to get your coffee and you opened your Facebook and there were people that had inboxed you, inbox, 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 messages saying, hey, I'd love to hear more about what you're doing. Hey, can you tell me what's going on? Hey, it looks like you're winning free trips or hey, it looks like you just got a new car. Can you tell me about what you're doing? Would that be powerful? I mean, could you see yourself doing that? Would that make a difference in your life, right? How would you feel about your business? How would you feel about the potential for opportunities? Like it would be huge, right? So I have something that will help. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, you are gonna get some, some basic foundations. In fact, four essential elements for how to attract prospects to you using social media. So go ahead and get that. It's my free gift to you. It's an extra bonus training. You can download MP3. Just click on the link. You'll enter your email and you'll be able to get that email to you. So that is all for tonight. Great to see you. God bless you guys. Take care and have an absolutely amazing night. Let's rock it out this week. For more great training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects, visit summergeronimo.com.